Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Veda and this is The Simple Budget. Here on my channel, I show you how my family is using the zero-based budgeting method in order to get out of debt and simplify our financial life. If that sounds like content that you're interested in, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and join our little crew here. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. Well, hello everyone and happy Monday. I hope that your weekend was a fantastic one. It was really productive for me because as you're watching this, it is my first day at my new job. So that is very, very exciting. I am nervous and excited and just um, really looking forward to a new little work chapter but also because I knew that today was going to be my first day, I was a busy little bee and got some products ready for my shop that I have been wanting to put up for a little bit of time now. And so before we get into the video, I'm just going to show you what is new in my shop. By the time you guys are watching this, I'll have gotten everything listed and sorted out like all of the different options um, for each of the products, which I'll explain a little bit as I get into each of them. Um, but right now, um, like as I'm filming this, I don't have like all of the details meshed out, but you know, I'll just get into everything anyway. Um, so first up is going to be denominations savings challenges. So these are the same exact ones. These are just white cardstock and glossy laminated, and these are vellum and matte laminated. So I'm not going to hold both of them. So um, these will come in a bundle, and it's going to be eight dollars for the bundle, and it's a one dollar for one dollar bills, um, five dollar bills, ten dollar bills, and twenty dollar bills. Um, they will just come with these little trackers, but these fit inside of either the envelopes that I make and sell in my shop or those little zipper envelopes that you can get on Amazon, super duper cheap. Those envelopes are, are much cheaper than the ones that I sell in my shop. So if you are on a budget um, and still wanna participate in the cash stuffing system, I mean, shoot, you can go get like a box of envelopes from the dollar store. Um, but if you want it to be a little bit more elevated, you can get those zip top ones from Amazon. Those are still cheaper than the ones that like I hand make, but I do hand make envelopes if, you, if that is in your budget. Um, but these fit nicely in any of those above mentioned envelopes. These would even fit inside of like a mailing envelope if that is um, what is within your budget. Um, I'm really, really excited about these. I've been wanting to do these for a while. I have offered them as a digital download in my shop, but I also, um, they looked different from this and I have updated them to reflect this size. So if you want to print them at home, you can do so. Um, because it's, I revamped the digital download as well. But now these will be available as a physical product in my shop, which I'm super, super excited for. And I will, my goal is to, I was telling Mr. Simple, my goal is to add one new item to my shop a month because I have all of these ideas and then um, I just really struggle with like time management. And so getting them actually listed is a challenge for me, but that is my goal for the rest of the year. One item that has been in my brain to put into my shop to get into my shop. So um, I'll probably work on savings challenges because a lot of people, just because we are not doing a savings challenge doesn't mean that some of you don't enjoy them. And so I figure offering them in my shop gives you the opportunity to buy them. Um, you can use um, dry erase markers on this or even um, like Sharpies, like permanent marker. You would just have to use like an alcohol or alcohol rubbing alcohol to get them off. So, or like an alcohol wipe. Anyway, so that's those. And then the other thing, this is actually what took me the most time, are these savings challenge bundles. Now, before I get into this, the binder does not actually come in the bundle. Um, and I'm asked, I've, I've gotten asked this from time to time, why I don't sell um, the binders in my shop or the binders with my envelopes. And that is because I prefer not to sell something that I can't guarantee the quality of. So I'm very picky about the products that I hand make. And 
the time that I spend making them and making sure that they are high quality. Um, and that's really important to me because we are literally talking about budgeting and finances and you're spending your hard earned money on these items. And I, what I would hate is for me to sell this with the binder and then the binder breaks on you in like two weeks or even two months or something like that. Um, and that's just not the standard that I hold for what I sell in my shop. Um, so that's why I don't sell the binder. However, <laughs> um, these savings challenge bundles will come with the dashboard and 12 envelopes that all have a variety of different dollar amounts for you to save throughout the year. And it's going to be $45. So I'm still working out. Like, I don't know right now, um, like how to, cause Etsy is really tricky with how you can list things. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make the dashboard available in white cardstock or vellum um, because the um, the envelopes themselves are just all vellum. Like that's what my envelopes are. Um, but because um, I also have, there's going to be, there's, I'm sorry, there's two different font options available. So there's this black font and this is what the actual um, envelope will look like, but they're, you know, one for every month of the year and they have different dollar amounts on them. Um, and then, oh, and by the way, I do also have $1,000, $5,000, no, $1,000, $2,000, $5,000, $10,000 savings challenges available. Um, and so it's in this block, um, font or in this script font. And um, so this is what this, this dashboard looks like. And then this is what the envelope font looks like. So um, I love these so much. I spent so much time over the weekend prepping this. And actually it's a fun story. So I had always kind of in the back of my mind wanted to offer savings challenge bundles on my shop or in my shop rather. But what prompted me to do it was um, at my old job, um, the one I am not starting today, um, I would always talk to the young girls there, especially about their finances and budgeting and getting them set up with high yield savings accounts and all that sort of stuff. And so, you know how the phones are always listening. Um, the one girl, the one young girl, she's 19. Um, she came into work one day and she said, hey, Veda, do you make these? And she showed me um, a savings challenge bundle, essentially. And I said, well, I don't, but if you want it, I'll make it for you. And she was like all excited and she was like, I want a $5,000 one. And so we worked out all those details. And um, so actually these are for, cause then she roped, she was talking to another one of our young co coworkers about it. Um, and so they were both like, you know, we want $5,000 ones. And so I spent the weekend working on these for them. Um, but then also to be able to put them in my shop is really exciting. And I'm so excited to be able to make these available to you. Like I said, the binder doesn't come with it, but the dashboard and the 12 envelopes um, is going to be $45 for that bundle. And that is it for now for updates for my shop. And so that was a very wordy beginning of my video, even more so than usual, but I'm really excited about them. And so if you guys are interested, my shop is always linked below. Um, and I still sell everything else, the dashboards, the custom envelopes, all that kind of stuff, but I'll be adding these as well. So now what I'm going to do is count this cash. We are stuffing $805 today, and then I'll get into the rest of this. So here we go. One, two, three, 54, 55, 50. That's my water. That's good. I took the time to put the lime in there and squeeze other lime juice in there. And it tastes very nice. It's Topo Chico and Lime, if you guys are wondering what I have over here that Mr. Simple just stole and interrupted my counting. Naughty, naughty. Okay. One, two, three, 54, 55, 50, 70, 90, 6, 10, 6, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 700, 10, 20, 30, 45, 55, 60, 65, 75, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 800, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So at least my counting is right, even though you 
disrupted the whole system. You've done good, babe. Thanks. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the um, bill condensing over the weekend. I was laughing because a couple of you said in the comments, like, you know, I was like, oh, it's going to be a really long video. And I think it was Sarah. I'm pretty sure it was Sarah who said, like all your other videos. And I was like, yeah, that's actually a really good point. Well, and especially too, because I edited it down, edited it down so much that the, um, the bill condensing only ended up being, I think, like three minutes more than my weekly check-in on Friday. So, so much for all of that work editing it. First step, we're going to pop into my wallet here. And I have lots of receipts to scan in this week. If you are unfamiliar, um, these receipt, receipts. <laughs> Sounds like something. Skeet, skeet, skeet. <laughs> I like sound like a little John version of shopping. I don't even want to get into that. Okay, so if you've never heard, there are these uh, cashback apps that you can download on your phone and you can uh, take pictures of these receipts, upload them, and you get points per receipt. And then eventually that adds up and you can trade that in for either cash or gift cards. It just depends on which app you're using. Um, all of my referral information for those cashback apps is always listed in my description box. If you use my referral code, I will get bonus points, um, but you will too. So just know that going in. Um, I do have these ones that I happen to scrape off of the top or the bottom of the grocery spending from last week. You know, cause we got it. It's gotta be a, a first, a good strong first week back into stuffing the dollar savings challenge. Um, oh, that's it. 27 cents. That's all for the coin dryer this week. I had to grab it, it was super far away and Mr. Simple is about three seconds away from throwing the computer outside right through the window if we had an envelope for that, but we don't. Spared by my lack of money. I know, right? Wow, that really is good. Yeah. Delicious. Can I start yet or are yeah, you? Hey, look at us. All right. So first up, we are going to jump into high priority sinking funds. Um, and first up is grocery. If you missed my weekly check-in on Friday, um, I'm stuffing it a little bit less this week, but it's not that big of a deal because um, I got some great... I had like, I have $40 worth of gift cards in my Target app right now. So that's certainly going to more than supplement what I would usually spend in groceries. But even still, I'm stuffing at $434 this week. Excuse me. So it's uh, $1, $2, $3, $54, $20, $25, $30, $35, $40, $45, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,
So 225 plus 1250, that's, that's what we have. Because I can't do that math. And with the 50s in there, it makes everything confusing. Medical is up next, it's getting $15 this week. Oh, that's right, we, we did this as part of the condensing. So we actually have 250 in the bank. And then I added 15, so a 10 and a five. And now in medical, I have, so 250, 300, 20, whoop, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, and 4. 344? What did I just say? <laughs> Maybe, you stop. Maybe you need to stop adding. You're adding. <laughs> you're, you're a have. 300, 20, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. 344. Very good. Look at yes. me. Look at me adding, mathing, counting, all of the above. Car expenses is up next. It's getting 14 this week. Oh, yes. And for those of you who commented in my budget with me last Wednesday, that the reason why I was off $14 was because I included the like a refund that Mr. Simple got into the budget. That was what the missing $14 was. See, these guys are really smart. I don't even know why I do my own budgeting. I should just let them do it. That's true. They're better at counting than I am anyway. Um, but it's getting 14 this week. So 10, <coughs> whoops, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's being really movie today. I don't know why I pulled out the expense tracker. I've, it's like I've forgotten how to do cash stuffing today. So 250. You're gonna take my coffee too? 4.30 in the afternoon. You're 4.30 in the afternoon. 250, 270, 290, 310, 320, 30, 40, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 360 in car expenses. That's exciting. I was excited to make the threshold $250 because it's like that money really could be earning us. And actually somebody yeah. in the comments who she said she's relatively new to the channel and she was like, why don't you, why don't you move $250 over? You'll make money in your high yield. And yeah. I was like, actually you're, you're about to see, we've decided to do that. But it was on one of an, it was on an older video that she was commenting that on. So anyways, home maintenance is up next. It's getting $10 this week. And now in home maintenance, we have... 100, 200, 20, 30, 45, 46. So 246 in home maintenance. Oh, poor sad household. <laughs> household is getting $15 today and I vaded all over this. So 10, <laughs> 11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> you were skied all over it. <laughs> I couldn't resist. You couldn't resist that, huh? I risked it all. I, we, you know what? Well, we got to uh, stop. No. I'm going to have to like language rate this or something. Now in household, we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So $18 in household. We're going to have to build this one back up. But I did like Target doing was doing that thing where if you spend $50, yeah. you get a gift card. And so I was like, I can spend $50. And then it was like. 80. <laughs> I'm a professional. Anyways, toiletries is up next. It's getting 10. But you have several Target gift cards now, too. I do. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually, somebody once asked, when you get those gift cards back, do you, like, allocate them for something specific? Or do you just, like, kind of add them to a general fund? And with Target especially, I'll just kind of base what I allocate the gift card toward um, from what I feel like it needs, or I'm sorry, what I feel like, which category I feel like needs the most help. So for example, like I will assess at the end of grocery shopping this week, um, whether I feel like household can, you know, needs more of that money or groceries needs more of that money or whatever. So that's just kind of how I do it. Um, I understand, you know, allocating certain things for certain, you know, for being specific, but we just don't feel the need to be that specific with a gift card. So anyways, now in toiletries, we have 20, 40, 50, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, and 71. <sighs> now toiletries is flush where household was. 
Close is up next. It's getting $10. And now in close, we have 120, 40, 50, 60, 75, 76. So 176 in close. Finance Coach is getting its monthly stuff. This one is only stuffed once a month because it's $5 a month to achieve our goal. And now in Finance Coach, we have 30. Um, HOA is being skipped. These ones at the back that have smaller amounts that they get every single month are only stuffed once a month. So I just like alternate when I give each of them. Um, but Mr. Simple still likes a balance check. If you happen to be new and you're like, why are you counting it even though you didn't give anything to it? It's because he likes a balance check. So in HOA, we have 20, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39. Union dues, also being skipped. It's got 50, 60, one, and two. Your brow's furrowed. Nah. Oh, okay. All good. Okay. It's fine, it'll be fine. All right, well that's it's it fine. for high priority thinking funds. And it's still so pleasant because it's just so reasonably filled. <laughs> This one was particularly shocking. Like after this last bill condensing, like I was like, oh my gosh, we really emptied these out. Which made actually, so our son had a school dance on Friday and I only had $100 bills and like two ones in back to school. And so I was like frantically going through each of the envelopes, figuring out how I could make change for this 100. I ended up figuring it out, but for a while there, I was like, curse, curse the bill condensing, curse it. Anyways, a dine out is getting $10 this week. It is the only money that is planned to be put in here this month. But since I will be collecting some pay in May, we will end up stuffing this one at some point. We're just not sure when else. But for the time being, a time out, time out, dine out, dine out, time out. <laughs> we have 20, 30, uh, 45. Is that right? Did no, I do it wrong? It's all wrong. Oh no. Work food. We're gonna have to launch an investigation. Oh no. Uh, work food is being skipped and it is empty. Uh, haircuts. Give me a count on that. <laughs> <laughs> haircuts is getting ten dollars this week. <clears throat> and now in haircut, haircuts, haircuts. We have one, two, twenty, thirty, one, and two. So 232. Um, home decor is being skipped. I think it is it being skipped for the entirety of the month or is it just no, we've got okay. $10 oh, that's right. It. I gave ten dollars for like everything because it just because I was like, it feels bad not to stuff them. It's got twenty-three. Mr. Simple and I do budgeting very differently. He was like, I would have eliminated all of this when we're <laughs> like trying to figure out where to pull some money from. Anyways. Dates is also being skipped this week, um, but it's got 1, 2, 50, 65, 66, 67, 68. So 268. We did some preliminary math for our next date night for this particular location that we want to go to, and we're going to need more than we usually um, allocate for dates. But we're going to a really, really nice and very well-rated restaurant, so I'm thinking it's going to be worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, his is up next. This is his spending money. And he now has $1,000 in the bank. Stinker. He's getting 10 this week. So he's got 1,000 and then 10, 20, 5, 26, 27, and 28. So 1,028 in his spending money. Don't be jealous. I'm a little jelly. A little bit. Hers is up next. I'm getting 26 this week, so 25, whoops, 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 and six. And now in hers, I have 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, whoops, 15, 25, 26, 27, and 28. So 128 in mine. 
pretty hair. Oh my gosh, guys, you guys changed my life yet again. So the comment, did, did you read the comments? No. Somebody in the comments said, why don't you stuff it $10 one week and $8 the next week so that you don't have all of those ones and five. And I was like, this has no business being as life changing as it is. And so that's exactly what I'm doing. That's, that's exactly it. I do have my hair cut this month, which I'm really excited about. Um, but it's getting $10 this week because we are learning from the subbies how to do cash stuffing better. So now in pretty hair, I have 50, 70, 80, 91. So $91 in pretty hair. Very excited about this revolutionary new way of stuffing this envelope. <laughs> I felt so stupid when I read that. I was like, why did this change everything? Well, sometimes what's complicated for one is obvious for the other. I feel like a lot of times people watch my channel just so that they can feel really good about themselves because they're like, this dumb broad, <laughs> she can't count. <laughs> she doesn't know how to stuff. Babe, look, it's that woman who can't count. Yeah, I know. Don't let the children watch, they'll be coming. <laughs> I know, even baby Gene. But although his mom said, Tara said, she's like, oh, don't worry. He like babble counts anyway, yeah. so you're not messing anything up. And it's like, oh, thank goodness, okay. Anyways, that was a tangent. Goodness. Family fun is being skipped this week. This is another one that is suffering for the month of March because my of my former lack of employment, but it's got $71 in it. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. We have a plan. That's a plan. That's a plan. Um, house project is getting $55 this week. Oh, that's right. I've got a placeholder in there. So 55 and now in house project, 500, 650, 65, 71, and two. So 672 in house project. Yay. And that is it for low priority sinking funds. Oops. All right. I feel like the stuffing portion of this is, ooh, almost knocked my water over. That would have been bad. I know. Hit the laptop, it definitely would have killed it. Yeah, I know things on its last leg we just need to hold out because it's like way down there in in uh priorities <laughs> it's on a priority yeah i know right <clears throat> all right gifts is i think being skipped this week yeah it is it's being skipped um but it's got 150 61 two and three this is your weekly reminder that you need to send your cousin his wedding gift thank you 163 Partay. Nobody's here. That was the little neighbor girl for our daughter. Um, but yeah, okay, so Partay is up next. It is not being skipped. It's getting $10. And so now we have 15 in Partay. Uh, Valentine's is being skipped and it's empty. Poor sad Valentine's. Easter is also being skipped. These little holidays, they get skipped. They only get stuffed like once a month. Um, but Easter has 50, 75, 76, and 77. Oops. Vacation is getting $80 this week. I finally have the right amount of placeholders in here, although it's driving me crazy now. It's like... What do we have? 2,750, I think, in the bank. Yes. Yeah. So, and it's getting, what did I say? It's getting $80. So 50, 70, and 80. So in cash here, we have 150, 220, 30. So 230 plus 2,750. <laughs> I'll let you do that math. Is that like over 3,000 now? No. Oh. Because I'm not even sure, hold on. Did I math wrong? Mm -hmm. I'll take a sip while you're mathing. Oh, that really is so Oh yeah, we, we are actually over 1,000 now. Look at me mathing. We're almost at 11, or at uh, 3,100. Nice. We've been putting interest in there. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, we're not doing that now though. No. Anyways. <laughs> 
Um, back to school is also being skipped. Putting all our interest on roulette. Yeah, no, no. Um, and back to school has 150, 70, 80, 1, 2, and 3. So 183 in back to school. Our son took 20 out for his little dance. Halloween also being skipped. This, we're going to fly through this uh, stuffing. It's got 56 in there. Thanksgiving is not being skipped. It's getting $10 this week. And now on Thanksgiving, we have 50, 70, and 80. Christmas is getting 55 and it's got its first 500 in the bank, which is so exciting. Earn that interest until Christmas time. That's right. That's right. Or in case the government shuts down, whichever comes first. Also a possibility. <laughs> now in Christmas, we have 500, 600, 700, 50, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3, and 4. How much did... Did you just put in there? Seven. Oh, I put in 55. So we have 774. Is that right? Did I do that yes. right? Okay. I think that's, I thought that's what I said and I remembered. I should get a medal for that. Nice. I know. Uh, last up for the day is our pool stuffing. We also took $250 to the bank for this one. It gets $16 like every other week, basically. Now in the pool, we have 250, 270, 280, 290, 295, 300, one, two, three, and four. So 304, we are almost there. We need 375 by the 1st of June, right? Yeah. All right, and now our first iteration of the dollar savings challenge for this particular go around. Do we know what we're gonna put this toward this time? Last time we put it toward dates. It was $48, by the way, mm -hmm. if you happen to miss my bill condensing on Saturday. We had $48 that we were able to take and put into dates. Which Unless was, you go to dates again. You think so? Maybe. Well, we'll see. Anyway, we're adding four in. We don't count it from week to week because we like to be surprised at the end of it when we finally do count it. And I always count it whenever I do the bill condensing. So that's how that works. But that's the first one. First one for this go. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this video and leave me a comment down below just saying hi. I just like seeing you all there. It's super fun. Um, Mr. Simple and I have really enjoyed your comments, especially over the last like few days or whatever. You guys are just incredible. I... I feel like I don't, like, I don't want to overdo it by like sounding disingenuous or something, but we just really, we just laugh and we get, well, I get emotional over some of the things that you guys say. We just find you all lovely and endearing and fabulous and wonderful. So thank you for being you, for watching, for regularly support, supporting us. It's just super fun to, uh, to have this little community here. So thank you. Um, and in that vein, actually, um, I will be back with you on Wednesday for my Etsy and YouTube cash stuffing, which is really exciting um, because it's an opportunity for us to just, you know, well, for me, because Mr. Simple is not usually part of those videos, but for me to say thank you to you guys for being a part of this community and just like hanging out with us here and supporting us regularly, whether that's in my Etsy shop or my YouTube channel by watching the ads. Um, it all makes a difference. So thank you. And that's it. That, that, that does it for today's video. Nothing else, right? It's a short one. It was a short one. Yeah. Well, I did ramble on at the beginning about the stuff in the shop. I am really excited about it though. Like I'm so proud of how it all turned out after spending all that time working on it this weekend. So anyways, <laughs> you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I look forward to being back here with you again on Wednesday. Bye, everyone.